Hello everybody, Secret History Living Inside of Your Aquarium speaking here. Uh, this is Alexander Williamson and you are taking a look at my new aquascape. Uh, this is all ADA Aquasoil Light and Manzanita Driftwood with that red mahogany look. Uh, it's been a little bit rearranged uh, by myself, cut apart and put back together so that sort of thing. And we've got... Uh, Nubius in the rocks, Cuffifolia up here, as well as Nana Petite or Petite Nana along, and then Bacopa red, gold, and green uh, tucked in and along, then Mini Butterfly, as well as Mermaid Weed uh, back up on those rocks, and then the the pattern that will repeat itself is there's going to be various species of boosts or Bucephalandra, uh, also up in in the uh, snag, which will be grafted with moss as that color, that red, uh, fades with algae and things growing on it. But in the meantime, uh, there'll be boosts uh, affixed to it, and this hillside is kind of a sliding northwest, uh, Pacific Northwest hillside. With the uh, with the exception of the Anubius, it all could kind of stand in for something in the northwest sliding down kind of a river embankment. And uh, under this current red or light that I'm filming with, these are white tip tetras, and uh, they look a little orange when they swim right under that light, but they're more of a yellow color. Some of them are a little orange when they're feisty, but... For right now, there's a dozen of them in there, and we're getting purling going on just from the ADA uh, aqua soil and two filters and lots and lots of light. We've got two Fluval 3.0s on here, and uh, they've been running all day. A lot of this stuff is tissue culture, but also uh, the older plants, and what I mean by that are is the... Uh, the boos and the anubius and some of the cuttings of all the different rotalas and ludwigias back there uh, which for now look all tangled but as light continues to uh, hit that back there uh, they will straighten up and straighten out and we'll have a wall kind of going all the way along the back um, with uh, ludwigia um, uh, Arculata, Arculata uh, as the final wall back there and some Java Fern and then we're going to do some uh, Bulbitis Hedgelata coming out of the water here climbing up into this tree uh, we'll switch over some let's see if we can get uh, some lighting uh, hold on one sec let me change the lighting here so there you go, you can see this tree is kind of uh, coming out of the tank. And right here you can see just how much light. We've got a Fluval 2.0 and then an older Fluval uh, up, up there pushing all that light. I've got it dimmed down so you can see that. But uh, really in here, the, the main flow of things if there were a um, golden spiral or golden ratio would stem out from here and it's a it's a little more condensed than that and that's because I left room for kind of right above the waterline falling into that so it's more of a look uh, in reverse there um, and then, you know, you've got the rule of thirds where this should be balanced by plants and things. This should be balanced by the woodscape and the wood coming up here. And then we've got more plants and stone there. But it's also going to cut the tank at sort of this angle. And then you've got these fissures that are growing. Uh, and we've got all sorts of carpeting plants and it's going to be a battle to see who wins out so we've got miniature dwarf hair grass uh we've also got uh cuban uh, uh 
baby tears, uh, so miniature baby tears, normal baby tears. We've got uh, hydrocaudal tripartite uh, and reticulata, both kind of crawling up in spots. And that hair grass is really the one that I'm championing, along with some shoots of blixa, which will kind of pop out and give a little more scale to the front of this display, as well as also this um, this uh, pogostemon erectus uh, will definitely have kind of a fluffy feel, uh, a little lighter, but very fine. Uh, whereas a lot of people would use only the finest leafed plants in the very back, uh, I kind of want a lighter feel down here just because it's that corner, but I've also got some Ludwigia pantana, Ludwigia ex lacustris, and then we've got some red and black uh, tiger crypts that I got a few months back, a month back I guess from aquarium zen which have been growing upstairs and now are growing here all of this set against a uh, light oak uh, and part of it is pine uh, panel now there is some ammonia in here but with the amount of plants going on uh, we are doing pretty well we're at 0.5 parts per million that is a little distressing as you want none for your fish but uh, with that in mind and with more plants coming actually tomorrow morning to be filling up uh, some more space uh, specifically kind of in the back here that's going to be so dense it'll be uh, great territory for fry to uh, collect as well as shrimp also I'll probably be building some sort of rock pile or something somewhere in here maybe even down in here for baby shrimp I want to put it somewhere where I'll be able to look at them um, but this whole terrace system is on uh, filtration bags with lava rock and then PVC pipes for uh, flow and then also just so there's not dead spots of, of it and just to kind of lighten things up. And then most of this rock here, if you can see, we've got the CO2 hooked up now, uh, is not that thick. It's very thin pieces of rock and they're all kind of a veneer with the exception of maybe those two right there uh, I'm not it's not set in stone <laughs> sorry fed pun uh, how things are and hopefully tomorrow we'll be seeing some of these plants uprighting themselves of course some of them will pop out the star grass things like that a lot of times will melt um, Here's more of that. Let me see if we can get a focus and then the light right on it. This is more of that black and red tiger, uh, Crypt Spiralis, and then uh, Boos. Uh, we've got some red vampire and some uh, brownie ghost and things like that. So lots of different choices of plants going on in here. Uh, some really nice blood red. Uh, Rotala and Ludwigia kind of hidden that should kind of sparkle. Uh, some are kind of coated in the dust of the ADA. There are three bags, three of the large bags of the ADA soil in here. And today it has been a doozy of hot weather. 95 degrees in here or so. And so it's time to call it a night. So good night on this tank um, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and I'll be putting together a longer video on exactly what it took to get that going um, also in trade for the wood which was scavenged by Tom Barr a great aquascaper himself of uh, quite a bit of notoriety and he's done a lot of research and contributed a lot to the to the um, hobby and art uh, the, the manzanita driftwood was bound for Amazon's corporate fish tanks in their office on display and I basically saw the wood before anybody affiliated with them did and made a trade with Steve Waldron who owns uh, the 
the Aquarium Zen store, which is a nature, uh, a natural style nature aquarium store in Seattle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed checking that out. There'll be lots of tinkering with that scape to come, and we need to really decide what for sure is going in there. Those uh, silver tip or white tip tetras, whatever you want to call them. Some people call them yellow or golden banded tetras. I've, I've read a lot of names for them. But whatever you may want to call them, they were a dollar each. So uh, they are just in there for now. This is an interesting shrimp. Uh, I have no idea where that came from. But uh, this wood was in there at one point, and there's a lot more booths, another nine species or so, and they'll be going in there, as well as what you see floating. A lot of this was initially planned to go in there. So I'll re-rally all of these tanks and uh, put them back together like Humpty Dumpty once, uh, once that other one is settled. So... All right, guys, I hope you liked watching the video. I hope you'll watch the longer, uh, it's probably a little more dry, uh, more of a one, two, three step version of how I did it, uh, how I created the hardscape and, the, and then the softscape or the plants and the fine tuning of that. Um, no time, no time uh, lapse or anything like that. Not to that degree but uh, just explaining as I go uh, so keep an eye out for that video coming out as well and thanks for watching guys uh, drop a comment please on what you think should be in that tank uh, schooling uh, I'm thinking maybe blue Hikari Daniels if I can find them or possibly just the males here although they don't school so much as flutter but they are beautiful so all right, guys. Well, take it easy. Be sure to like if you like it, share if you want to share it, and uh, <laughs> subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to see what happens next. So, all right. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves so you can take care of those around you and your critters, and they'll take care of you back. So, it's one big circle of love, circle of life. You guys take care. Have a good morning good evening good afternoon wherever it may be wherever you may be and swim on take care guys bye